Hello everyone, my name is Rose D. Thanks so much for dropping by. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I do videos on planners and sometimes purses, but if you are coming back, welcome back. This video is a flip through of my Yui Beige Croc Planner in personal ring size. So let's get this video started. <music> I'm so happy to have the time to film this video. I thought I wouldn't have enough time. I just filmed my unboxing of my personal cream crock, but then I decided the sun's out, the sun is shining, and I have ample light in this room. So I decided to try to fit in a filming sesh um, during my coffee break. So um, Yui is a brand on AliExpress, kind of similar to Moterm. The only difference is that with the Motram Crocs, there's more of a smooth finish to it. Rather with this, it's kind of like unfinished Croc. It's not like the undyed leather from Julia or anything like that, but it definitely doesn't have that shiny sheen to it. It is just so gorgeous. And I am loving how neutral everything is in this planner and how this planner looks. It is kind of like the taupe Moterm, but not really. With the taupe croc, there's a lot of shadowing in it, but with this, it's just like a nice, easy croc, and you see easy on the eyes, so I'm just super happy I was able to snag this planner. I do have an unboxing of this planner in another video, so I'll make sure to link that down below. So let's go into the insides of this planner. I have an Ollie clip here on the front. Um, it was a collab with Ollie clip and cloth and paper, and it's just holding this cloth and paper journaling card in the pocket here. I don't really have anything in here. I have to keep my stickers and my goodies in a separate little container that I got from Planner Monkey Co. Anyways, there is a pocket here, also empty, but my large big back pocket, because it's so accommodating, I do have some inserts in here, just blank um, daily inserts and weekly hourly from cloth and paper. I find that this planner is really accommodating when it comes to stuffing it really full. It does have two snap closures and a large back pocket, but not only that, it's super squishy. So unlike the Moterm that is pretty pretty rigid or the Louis Vuitton that is rigid and not as squishy, I find that I can add more things into this planner. The leather is a bit different than Moterm, so I'll pull the Moterm again. So the Moterm, it has more of a shinier finish to it. It's more smooth. Some people have complained that it kind of feels like plastic. To me, it doesn't. I mean, the Final Facts Craw, I don't have it anymore, but I sold it, had also like a shinier, smoother finish. So Moterm is, is a little bit more smooth than that, but it's not that bad. With this planner though, it's not like the Gilio Undyed or anything like that, but it definitely does not have that shiny finish. It is more smooth and just more of, of a natural looking leather, which doesn't stop me. Like I still love this planner and I still love this planner as well. It's just the color is just so gorgeous that I don't even care about <laughs> the texture. I did not decide to get the Moterm Croc in the taupe color only because it has that weird shadowing. And so I didn't want to take the whole acetone route. You can see here that this personal Croc, um, this is the cream, has a bit of that shadow finish to it. And some people have taken acetone to that to get rid of this shadowing. On the taupe croc from Motarm, it is way more apparent and it really bothered me. And because I'm not going to do with the acetone route, I decided to get this um, beige croc from UB. So getting into the planner, I'll show you guys what it looks like. In the back pocket here is just a card from Sequence and Paper. And I believe, I'm not really sure where this is from. I need to look it up, but it is a freebie off Instagram from a lovely Instagram account. I just totally am like brain farting where I got it from. And then this journaling card is a monthly journaling card from Noted and they have the whole year. It's so gorgeous. The texture is amazing. It's like a cotton um, textured paper. It's just so beautiful. So I'm super lucky to have gotten that. They were sold out for a while and I was just bothering her like, hey, like, are you getting those monthly cards back? And she did. So I really jumped on that and put my order in. And here in the front, I always have this plastic cover. I have no 
idea where it's from. I think I even just like cut it and punched it myself. It just is used to protect my planner pages, especially in the front here. This planner did not come with a flyleaf. I know Motrum does come with flyleaf, so I'll show you what the flyleaf looks like for the personal. Um, for this one, it does not come with, with a flyleaf, so I was really happy that I had this extra um, cover to protect my pages. This front is from Cloth and Paper, and underneath that is a vellum dash that I printed out from Mindy Plans. I actually PR for her, so I'll make sure to link her shop and my PR code down below. And with my noted order, I got this, but I also got this dashboard. It is so beautiful. I'm loving this aesthetic right now. It's like kind of inspired by Chanel and it just has a very clean look to it. And the paper on here is so smooth and so beautiful. I just, I, I just love the texture. I love the texture that Noted uses in her shop and on her um, dashboards and cards, like journaling cards. So make sure to check out her shop as well. Behind that are just sticky notes, the shape sticky notes from cloth and paper. And then this inbox dashboard is from Salty22. I'm not really sure if she is offering them anymore. Uh, the reason for that is that she's moving away from her LV inspired look. So I'm not sure if this is still available. And then here is another vellum dash that I printed from Minty Plans. I just love this circular thing going on. Like it's so pretty. I find that it's so gorgeous around this cloth and paper dashboard as well as this cloth and paper sticky note that's underneath and this is like my inbox so this planner here in particular is my work and goal planner and if you didn't see my video on my planner setup and um what i'm using all my planners for 2021 make sure to check out that video as well i will link that down in the description box so this is my inbox for only work and my goals and this dashboard's from Lucy Plans Live, and behind it is this gorgeous design. I love her inserts because, yes, they are printables, and she does offer physical copies, but I love how it's front and back, and so I'm not a big fan of blank back pages, so I was really happy that she offers an insert with an image in the back. Here is a freebie from Mindy Plans and more sticky notes on the back there. And then these monthlies are from salty 22 again she's moving away from the lv look so i'm not sure if you can still get these inserts with the lv inspired pattern so i have the whole year in here and i am using these transparent stickers from paradise planner co and so i love how they're transparent and they just look really amazing in this planner so it's like a pale pink and i have yeah and then i have all of 2021 in here and then next are my dailies so this is when my dividers start these dividers are from planner monkey co again i pr for her so i'll make sure to link my code down below and she does customs for these um dividers and she has multiple fonts so i decided to pick the script font because I feel because I move from planner to planner I found that the script just looks so good and like a parm and a Gilio and an LV and this Yui and this Motrum planner not this planner in this Motrum planner so I was just really happy that um she offered this script font so my dailies this dashboard is from Lucy Plans Life again and again you can see here that there's always like an image in the back so I love that so not all of her printables and physicals have uh two designs on each side like or a design on each side but many of her items do so this is another dashboard from Noted again oh my gosh if you you could just feel the texture of these dashboards they're just amazing so this is a dashboard board from noted and in the back here these are dailies from my friend tom she has freebies and i think i've mentioned this in my past videos before that instead of um two to-do lists on um, there's a to-do list and notes section so that's what she's offering. So I just asked her to um have two to-do lists one for work and one for goals so I'll flip through some of the pages. At first I was using this beige Tombow pen, but I wasn't really feeling it, but I did love this gray. And I was not using my planner very much this month. I don't know, like I just was in a weird planner funk, but now it is the last week of February and I'm back on the planner train. So um, you'll see here that this week is finally being used. This today tab is from Planner Monkey Co as well. 
and I'll show you guys this week. So this is just this week. It just has like my my hourly stuff. I primarily use this planner Monday to Friday and take peeks at it during the weekend. So I don't really use it on the weekends. I'm still debating whether or not I want to use these day to dailies. I do love them, but I always feel weird trashing the ones that I don't use or I just feel weird when it's like jumps so see how like 17th and it goes to 22nd like I, that bothers me a bit so either I get used to that or I move into the blank dailies and these blank dailies are from cloth and paper my next section is my weekly this is an image of my two girls um Lauren and Annie and then th these are transparent sticky notes from cloth and paper I have this morning mindset half dash it's on transparent paper that I got in a cloth and paper box and then here is another half insert from cloth and paper my weeklies are also from cloth and paper again this is just for my work and my goals so this monthly is totally different from these monthlies here these monthlies are for personal things and then these monthlies are for my work calls so i can see a month at a glance of like what's going on for work and then my weeklies are just work related stuff this color it like ticked me off and i think that's why i stopped using this planner because i didn't want to look at these colors together so yeah, don't look at that. Um, these are just my work calls. And then I moved into the gray Tombow pen. I really like it. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what that Tombow pen looks like. So this Tombow pen is the um, 68N. Or is it N89? I think it's N89. I'll show you that. And it's like my favorite Tombow pen. And this just has like my work calls. And fast forward a little bit. I am debating whether or not I want to use these cloth and paper dated weeklies. So these came in a while back ago. I have no idea where I got these either from a sub box or maybe I ordered it in a separate order, but it's an undated hourly view of the week. So I don't know if, whether or not I'm going to switch to this. My next section is my goal section. And this dashboard is from Mindy Plans. Again, I PR for her. So make sure to see my link and code down below. And then behind that are just some sticky notes from cloth and paper. This is a vellum dash that I printed from Lucy Plans Life. And over that is like my goal section. So pretty much like just because I switch in and out of planner covers often, I usually keep the same inserts in here. So as you can see, if you've been watching watching my setups the only thing that really changes is my deco my vellum my dashboard the journaling cards the colors of my pens my stickers those are the only things that change but the actual essence of the planner the guts like the inserts that I use are pretty much all the same so you probably have seen this this is my goals section and this is from um I forgot plans and vibes and this is back when she was doing like a goals package bundle back in 2020 so that's where this is from and then this dashboard is from Mindy plans this is a freebie on her Instagram and the back here is a lose it journaling card from sequence of paper and I just put some washi tape from the pink room these inserts are from Sissa V these are just my goals I need to look back at these because these goals were from last year but these are like carried forward goals so like I'm going to use these goals like losing weight being healthy those are like going to be like the same goals until like pretty much I pass away or something like I will always be using these goals I will always be having health as one of my goals so I have plateaued since the summer and I have not looked at these goals since like these inserts since October of last year so I need to review my goals because I still really want to lose 10 more pounds and it's always the last 10 15 pounds that I'm just like struggling with so that's that here is a more um broken down set of goals for myself i have a daily weekly and monthly goal for myself my next are the books i want to read and these stickers are from paper bits co i also pr for this shop so i will make sure to link my code down below movies restaurants and places which sucks because covid and there's like nowhere to go but I still have this here because you never know things might change 
throughout the year. So that's that. And then my work goal section, this dash is from Minty Plans as well. And then here is just some inserts from May Paper Co. Um, I'm just going to be using these as like my work highlights of things that I have accomplished for that month. So I still need to fill out January and possibly a few things in February. My next dashboard here is a vellum dash from Cloth and Paper and a vellum dash from Lucy Plans Life. And behind that is my, my goals inserts from Cross Goal Principles of just my, my work goals for 2021. And then some more goals for my MS teams and one note for work. My next section is my social media section. And this dashboard is from Mindy Plans. And behind that is um, kind of like a quarterly overview. These are from Infinity Lotus. I still have yet to figure out what I wanna do. I kind of wanna keep track of like my YouTube and my social media, but I still haven't really put that down. Like I'm still not sure how I'm gonna use this. I think what I'm gonna do is use it for health even, or just like all of my goals in general. So I still need to fill this out. And then here is a dashboard from a cloth and paper and another dash from Minty Plans. And then here are just some video ideas that I want to hopefully film this year. And then that's that. And then next is my notes section, another dashboard from Minty Plans and just some school stuff, school notes for Annie and just like extra notes pages from Infinity Lotus. Next are my meeting section. And here's a dash from, I think Plans and Vibes. I think that's where it is. It's an old dash. I just hate when the shops don't put down like the shop name and then I totally forget where I printed it. So I'll try to figure that out. Um, but behind that is this gorgeous dash that I got from Pinterest that I printed and punched. And then in the back here is just the sticky notes from cloth and paper for some work notes that I don't longer, I no longer need. More meeting notes pages from Crossbow Principles and some notes pages from, in, from Poi and Hun. The next section is my projects. So this is another dashboard from Mindy Plans and I love Mindy Plans. Like even before I was PR for her, I just loved her stuff. So I think this is a dashboard. This is a freebie on her Instagram actually. And then here's just like my planner system. These are just notes pages, like blank notes pages from Cesa B. And then things I want to add to my planners. And then here is like kind of like my declutter section. So my projects, it's, I have so much decluttering to do at home. So this vellum is from Cloth and Paper. And then this dash is a freebie from EO Edits. EO Edits is actually the person that I first saw this beige croc from. And so when I saw it on her Instagram feed, she is in an in a A5 size planner. I was like, oh my gosh, is that a UE planner? And then I asked her and she said, yeah. And then because I'm not an A5, I was so happy to see that this planner was being offered in personal ring. So that's who um, inspired me to get this planner. And then here's just more like decluttering things that I need to do around the house, um, project pages from Crossbow Printables. And then my last section is random. This is a dashboard from Lucy Plans Life. Again, it's like two-sided. Another vellum dash from Lucy Plans Life. And this is a dash from the Royal Planner. Another dash from Minty Plans. And the, this is just random. So these are just like notes pages. These ones are from Cloth and Paper. These notes pages. And then I have this page lifter from Foxy Fix with some extra washi from the pink room. But yeah, that is my flip through. I was able to do that in 15 minutes, you guys. I'm so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to comment down below and like like this video and if you really enjoyed it and you want to learn more about my planning style and the different purses that I own, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. So yeah, that is it you guys. Until next time, bye!